On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, this defense for the Jaguars, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. On second and a yard, Mills. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. They're just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Mills to throw it. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. First and 10, it's Pierce. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Our first down throw for Mills. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. And that is incomplete. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game. But this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Mills now to Pierce. They set up the screen, and they're going to get this down to about the 37. When you think about this strong safety position, you know, they're the more bulkier guys in the free safety, but that time great athleticism to hustle in and break up that play. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Here's Mills. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And it's now 3-0 Texans. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now ETN to start the drive, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. 
found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Lawrence to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Arnold. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first and ten, it's ETN. They find some open field here. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis ETN. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. But well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. First down, they go right back to Pierce to about the 48-yard line. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Jacksonville surprised a lot of people when they tabbed Trayvon Walker as the number one overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. And they're certainly betting that his athleticism will help him grow into one of the league's elite pass rushers. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Third and long, they'll look to throw. They're going for Howard, but the pass intercepted. Picked off by Tyree Gillespie. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward on first down lawrence able to find prior and he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone call that a very strong gain of 24. right after the turnover they come out throwing and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Running out of the gun with ETN. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Play action. It's Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. John Hightower, his first touchdown on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they come in losers of two straight. And remember, they've got the open date on their calendar next weekend, but you think it's vitally important, Charles, that they focus on the task at hand here. Absolutely, because these players, they know what's coming up. And the difference between taking time while following a win versus doing so on a three-game losing streak, that's absolutely huge because they may come back if they lose this game to a facility, and there may be new faces in there and some teammates lost. Quick throw to Collins. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Coming up on second and seven. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. to throw Mills. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second and 10, Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. 
A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. Hey, 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 hey. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Lawrence. That's out wide here for Robinson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The Jaguars at three and one here through their first four games. And they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. Right. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Again, it's Lawrence. Pryor has it complete. And some room to roam now. Touchdown, Jaguars. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on the calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing, Mills. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll leave them with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage.
Fourth down, Mills. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars will take over here just shy of the 30. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Lawrence. He targets Ingram for another grab. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. play looking left sideline it's complete and he takes it into the end zone across the chalk now there is a flag down but I think that's offsides on the defense yeah, I think that's going to stand partner extra point by Patterson up and good and the route is on here in this first half After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. <laughs> 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And Mills is intercepted for the third time. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, you start to feel sorry now for the young man throwing the football. This is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. All right, this is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, 
Go back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. No gain on the screen there at second down. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a route as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Go, go. Hey, stand up. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence sliding out of the pocket. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Throwing on second and long. Lawrence on the move to his left. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Let's give a little credit to the defense on that one. They resisted quite well, and that pass fell incomplete. But this ball game for him... That's just a momentary speed bump. He's played awfully well throwing the football. Yep. Hey, now Lawrence on third and long. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Forty-nine yard punt, five on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and ten. The Texans' offense ready to go here for their next drive. The CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On 
Third down, here's Pierce. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Here we go on fourth down. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw Lawrence. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence. And the pass complete to Ingram on the crossing route. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Hey, exit. Hey, speed shift. Speed shift. Hey, knock it. Alert, alert. They go play action with Lawrence. This is caught. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And they'll run with ETN. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Yeah, partner, they went a little conservative, didn't they? And they ended up marking it short. And now I wonder, will they even do it again on third down? On third and goal, Lawrence. Touchdown! Travis Etienne. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. 
Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. Third and short yardage, Mills. And a throw there going to be incomplete. But they certainly are running up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. And that makes him now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say they're showing a lot of guts going for it this many times on fourth down. I think they'd have to start thinking with their head a little bit more than with their gut and their emotions because it's not working for them. They've got to figure out what's been going wrong. Straight ahead, ETN. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Come on, get. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. now Lawrence rush coming and he's taken down he'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack now it's third down so now after the sack of Lawrence the Jags looking at a third and long now Lawrence he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Here's Smith to return it. Not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And the Texans will take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Mills now. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Caleb on Chason, the former first rounder, in there to get the sack. Well, I wish his staff luck as they try to find positives about this performance by their offense as we move through the early part of the fourth quarter. That sack, the latest example. Down by a bull road, this offense simply can't keep up, and the quarterback is still taking hits. I'd get the backups in there if it were me. Third and long for Mills. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Andre Sisko. 
And with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Play action. Lawrence buying time to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Lawrence will throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That pass and incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points. But, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Trayvon Walker picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Looking to throw his mills. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. And this offense on third down today, just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and seven. Here's Mills. And yet again, it's Howard with a catch. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. On first and 10, Mills. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be free and willing now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. This one taken just inside the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. After the pick six a moment ago, here's Mills again. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they've forced in this runaway contest. To throw on second and ten, Mills. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. that has been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. On third down, here's Mills. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Mills, fourth down, got to have it. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Tyree Gillespie. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you haven't been taught. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Nico Collins with the Houston first down, something he did 22 times as a rookie for the Texans. Back here as a starter, hopes that last year's 446 yards are just a floor of what he can do. And now here's another interception. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout. But you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looks like he'll throw here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Partner, I know we're still... And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Flush to it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Yeah, fans usually love to see scoring, and there's no shortage of it today. 